nine years ago, this was me. I was 17 years old and I was protesting Donald Trump at a rally. I'm making this video so hopefully you can realize that it's okay to admit that you were wrong. A lot of us fell victim to the media's lies and a lot of us hated Donald Trump. You could see that I had a very articulate message and logic and reasoning behind my hatred for the man. No, Trump. Trump bad. I encourage all of you to watch the pinned video on this account, Tim Pool's interview with Donald Trump, where he talks about how he wants to bring peace to the world. I know I want peace. I'm sure that you want peace. I know back then I wanted peace, but I was hoodwinked, tricked, lied to, and deceived by the media. Don't be afraid to let go of your ego and admit that you were wrong. What up, Ski? It's because of videos like the one I just showed you and the ones that I'm going to show you um, of the reasons why I go so hard for Trump. Because when you're on the outside looking inside at the mainstream media and the uh, mainstream media propagandists and the people that they lie to, you clearly see that the people are brainwashed. And it is very disappointing. It's very disappointing to say the least. But the reason why I go so hard is because I know the truth. All right. Everybody that knows the truth about Trump, you should be screaming this from the top of your lungs. All right. You should never stop talking about it. When you see someone being lied on, when you see someone being lied to, um, you should take it upon yourself and you should make your voice heard every single day. That That's that's kind of the theme of my life. You know, it's like the truth must set us free. Like we have to uh, really, 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 really go hard sometimes, you know, and that's the only way the truth gets out because the lies are everywhere. They're everywhere. And, and people get on the mainstream media and they lie about Trump like it's their it's, it's their job to do it. Like that's what they're hired to do. They're hired to lie about one of the greatest presidents ever. All right. So when you see billionaires, uh, you know, these supermodels and, and, and Holly weird coming out uh, and they realize that they've been lied to about Donald Trump. It tells me a whole lot. It tells me that no amount of money, no amount of popularity, no amount of celebrity can cure stupidity. It just can't. All right. Uh, when, when you believe what the mainstream media is telling you about Donald Trump, you are a part of the destruction of this country. Now, the mainstream media, in my opinion, they should be all shut down. They should be sued into oblivion. We shouldn't have a mainstream media that, that's going to lie to us. All right. We need to get rid of those mainstream medias, all right? Every, every last one of them, all right? ABC, NBC, CNN, MS, especially MSNBC and Joy Reid. They, they should be the first on the chopping block, all right? CNN's uh, trying to get their act together, but it, it's just too little and too late. So, guys, today I want to show you a couple of examples of people who really have the gall and really have the courage to come out to let us know that they were actually lied to about Donald Trump. The first clip I'm gonna show you, and you may have seen it already, from the Republican National Convention of Amber Rose. If you guys don't know who Amber Rose is, do a quick Google search, look up some of her videos in the past. Uh, me, myself, I wouldn't say that, uh, you know, I don't want Amber Rose a part of the Republican Party or something stupid like that. I hear some beta males saying stuff like that and, you know, um, but every strong man wants his pack to be a lot bigger and stronger. If you can get the truth out to some people and they start to see the light, that's a really good thing, guys. OK, um, whether that person changes their life for the better, which, you know, they should be if they realize that the mainstream media has been lying to them. That's a big one. All right. That's a really big one. All right. So if you can if you can get people around other people like a conservative or, you know, in a convention of a conservative or a Republican conservative convention, once you get around those people and you see how they are, how they live, and you can study their lifestyle, that's going to impact your life in a really big way. I would say she's getting on a journey um, where her life's going to probably be changed forever. And maybe it's going to be because of Donald Trump. Maybe it's going to be because of someone that she meets at a conservative convention. That's not for us to decide. What we should be doing is welcoming these people with open arms uh, and getting them used to our way of life, getting more of our points across, changing the culture, all right? That's how we get people uh, to God. That's how we get people to Yahusha, all right? That's how we get people to Jesus. That's how we do that, 
I don't. First of all, Jesus is not his real name. I wish people stopped calling him Jesus and call him by his real name. That'd be great. Uh, maybe these demons will stop attacking us so much. Anyway, um, but Amber Rose at the Republican National Convention had some pretty good things to say, and I want to let you guys take a listen. Listen. My whole world revolves around providing for my children, keeping them safe, and giving them an opportunity for a better life. That's something that unites all American parents. Whether we're Republicans, Democrats, conservatives, or liberals, we all want a better country for our children. But I'm here tonight to tell you, no matter your political background, that the best chance we have to give our babies a better life is to elect Donald Trump President of the United States. Now you may be wondering why I'm up here telling you this. I'm no politician and I don't want to be. But I do care about the truth. And the truth is that the media has lied to us about Donald Trump. I know this because for a long time I believed those lies. So I'm here to set the record straight. The first person I knew who supported Donald Trump was my father. I was shocked. My entire family is racially diverse. And I believe the left-wing propaganda that Donald Trump was a racist. My father said, no, he's not, Amber. What are you talking about? And when I insisted, he said, prove it. So to prove my father wrong, I did my research and looked into all things Donald Trump. to do their research. I watched all the rallies, and I started meeting so many of you, his red hat wearing supporters. <laughs> I realized Donald Trump and his supporters don't care if you're black, white, gay, or straight. It's all love. And that's when it hit me. These are my people. This is where I belong. <laughs> so I let go of my fear of judgment, of being misunderstood, of getting attacked by the left, and I put the red hat on too. Thank you. Love you too. I never felt more free and more love for my country than I do now. I want to thank my father, who's in the audience tonight, for opening my eyes. He served over 20 years in the U.S. military. Thank you for your service, Dad. I love you, Dad. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you. When I met the President and Melania for the first time, he was kind and generous and funny as hell. <laughs> Very funny. The first lady was gracious and smart with a smile that will brighten up any room. If you're watching this tonight, you know our country is in trouble. Just like me. When you go to the store, buy food for your family, you're shocked. When you fill up your gas tank, you're pissed. I know I am. <laughs> And when you turn on the news, you are just exhausted. Inflation is out of control. And you know in your heart, it was not like this under Donald Trump. My message to you tonight comes from a humble place. The left told me to hate Trump, and even worse, to hate the other side, the people who support him. When you cut through the lies, you realize the truth. American families were better when Donald Trump was president. We were safer, wealthier, and stronger. A vote for Donald Trump is a vote to put money back in our pockets and good food on our kids' plates. 
Yes. <laughs> or, as Trump would say, it's a vote to make America great again. Thank you so much. Now, if you listen to Amber Rose's speech, one key thing that she said was that she did her research. What does that mean? Because I think a lot of people don't do research, but maybe they don't understand what it means. Go looking. If before you believe something, anything, go looking for many different opinions about it. Draw your own conclusion based on what you hear and what makes sense to you. Look at the economy. Look at how much things cost. Look at what Donald Trump is saying. Analyze his words. Analyze the things that he's talking about. What did he do in his presidency? What are, what are some of the uh, laws that passed? What are some of his legislation? What are his policies? That's doing your research. And so what I found out is that every time I do research about a specific topic I'm trying to get educated on, there are a lot of different opinions. Lots of different opinions. You have to do research and then you have to say, how does this affect me? How has it affected me? What do I truly believe about what this person is saying? How has this, what has this person done about what they're saying? How qualified is this person to tell me what I should be doing and thinking? How qualified are they? What makes them qualified? What makes a Hollywood elite person qualified to tell you who to vote for? Why don't you listen? To, I, I love you too because you can look at other people's lives. You can basically listen to what their experiences have been. And it's it can help you. It can help you in your life with some of the experiences that you're going through. Just videos, watching a video. Lots of I've watched so many videos on how to fix my car. <laughs> OK, because I don't want to take it to a mechanic to do simple things. I just pull up a video on YouTube. I got a couple of people that I listen to and they know what they've been talking about. How do I know what they've been talking about? Because the first video I watched and I trusted them, I saw how many views they had. I said, let me try what they're talking about. Let me try what they're what they're telling me to do uh, in regards to whatever I'm trying to fix. And it works. If it works, I stick to that. Same thing with my conservative network of channels that I have. OK, I listen to what they're talking about. I take time out to do it. One thing that people fail to do is just research, just just like Amber Rose. I mean, you know, what are they going to say about Amber Rose now? She's been paid to do this. She don't have to do this. Amber Rose does not have to do this. But you heard what she said. Her main goal is to take care of her children, keep them safe and provide for them. This inflation is hitting the living crap out of everyone. If you, especially if you own a business. Now, if you're on welfare and you're getting government assistance, you don't care. Okay. We know, we already know you don't care. You're not, you're not, you're not there yet. We're not, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my business owners. I'm talking to the people who just don't understand what's going on and want to know. Maybe you want to start a business. Maybe you don't really get inflation. You don't know why the cost of everything's gone up. Look at what's happened. Just look at it. For you, for someone to be so ignorant that they don't do research but still want to make a intelligent decision, this is ignorant. It's ignorant. It's very ignorant. And it just shows. Do your research. Now, let's talk about someone who influenced our last election, our 2020 elections, by putting ballot boxes in the ghettos, okay? <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg spent $400 million, $400 million to support Joe Biden's efforts to win the presidency. We all know what happened. Nobody's stupid. We know what happened in the middle of the night, okay? We all saw it. There's video everywhere, okay? This time, he's got a different outlook on the election and on Donald Trump. I've done some stuff personally in the past. I'm not planning on doing that this time. Um, and that includes, you know, not endorsing either of the candidates. Um, now, look, I mean, there's obviously a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world. I mean, the historic events over the last, like over the weekend. And I mean, on a personal note, it's, you know, I mean, seeing Donald Trump get, get up after getting shot in the face and pump his fist in the air with the American flag is one of the most badass things I've ever seen in my life. But, um, but, but look, I mean, it's, um, you know, as, and I think, look, it's, at some level as an American, it's like, 
hard to not get kind of emotional about that spirit. If there's one thing I want to, to get across here is that your money and your influence and your opinion on elections, they can be they can be amazing or they can be absolutely detrimental to our country. This man took all that money and put it behind an election of a candidate who's an actual criminal. OK, that's what he did. He didn't know what he was doing. He didn't do his research. All right. Like so many other people. Look at the effect that Mark Zuckerberg's decision had on the United States of America. We're talking about the owner of Facebook. OK, who doesn't normally get into politics, who voted with his feelings and did things with a lot of, uh, you know, emotion behind it. And as he stated on Joe Rogan's show, the FBI put pressure on him to censor certain things, to censor conservatives. Who was running the FBI? Duh. A bunch of Democrat propagandists. So and it really helps the United States of America and the people in it to do research about who's in control. Before you put your foot in your mouth, before you do something uh, that will be stupid, I'm so glad that Elon Musk made great decisions here. Uh, before, he could have ruined his entire company and Mark Zuckerberg had to learn the hard way. His company, Facebook, got destroyed, okay, after he did this. He didn't realize how many conservatives that he would have to censor on his platform, but he had to do it because the FBI put pressure on him to do that. Well, this time Zuckerberg said he won't be doing that, which is good news for all of us. We don't need these people with uh, all this uh, financial influence to go directly against the people who got him there in the first place. You know, pay attention, folks. Stay diligent. All right. Pay attention, do your research, share these videos, like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. We could get the word out. We could win this election. Who knows? Trump looks like he's smoking, delivering crap out of Biden, but anything can happen. Global outages, I mean, you know, crashes, who knows what, what's going to be happening. Let me know what you think about all this. Do you do your research? I do mine. Ask people if they're doing their research. <laughs> we need to make sure. Okay. Thank you guys.